arc length in polar form. Dun dun dun! Previously shown in math class that the arc length is given by the integral of the square root of the differential with respect to theta squared plus the differential of y with respect to theta squared and I wish to derive it? Here we go. R, R is a function in term of theta. So if I'm looking for dx, d theta, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second. Derivative of cosines minus sine, right? times the first. All right, what am I doing? I'm doing this so I can put it up in there. So then dy d theta, that gonna be the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Now that I've found both of these differentials, I'm gonna put it up in there. Before we get to this, over here. And there will be an example following this derivation, but if I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at this, man, that's still from A to B, and I'm looking at the square root of. Now, what was my dx d theta? Huh, that was this guy, R prime cosine theta minus R sine theta. And then that whole dang dang is gonna be squared. And then, whew. It is hot in the studio tonight. So then, I'm gonna subtract off, boom, this piece, dy d theta. This is r prime sine theta plus r cosine theta. And then that whole dang thing is gonna be squared right there. I don't know if we're gonna have room for that example. <laughs> I'm working on this guy, boom. So now, this is the integral from A to B. And we're gonna expand out those there, see? So there's a big old long root. That's R prime squared cosine theta squared. This one times that one, double it. Minus two times um, R prime R sine theta cosine theta. Minus, now, I need to expand that guy out. So I go and I expand that guy out. That's um, R prime squared. Whoa, whoa there, that's a plus, that's a plus. R, why don't I just put it down here? Expanding that out. That's R prime squared times sine squared theta, and then, plus two times r prime r sine theta cosine theta. I forgot a term on that one. That's a, a plus r squared sine squared theta. You probably saw that and we're freaking out. All right, so then I need to square that one out. That's plus r squared cosine squared theta. Now I'm going to, oh, this is terrible. So, boom, look at that. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. I'm looking at now A to B of R prime squared, because those guys are one, these guys are gone, and I'm left with a sine squared and a cosine squared that's plus an R squared. Oh boy, D theta. Now if I go and I put them in familiar notation, this is the integral from A to B of the square root of dr d theta squared plus r squared. And then all of that is d theta. Oh, even my markers are melting. Now, let's get to an example. Killer. I'm looking at this. Man, and I want to put it in here. Man, can you see that? Man, yeah. So, 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 so. I'm looking at the integral from 
zero to pi of this guy. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the derivative of r with respect to theta, the derivative of this guy with respect to theta, wait for it, that's two times the sine of theta, derivative of cosine is sine squared. Okay, plus this guy squared, two times the cosine of theta squared. All that's d theta. <sighs> Look at the nice numbered world you live in. This is the integral from zero to pi of this guy. That's the square root of four times sine squared theta plus the cosine squared theta d theta. So. <laughs> Doesn't that turn out to be 2 pi? Now let's look at what's happening here. If I was looking at 2 times the cosine of theta, that guy right there, boom, that's going to be here at 2. It's going to be a circle right there. Circle whose radius is 1. Now the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Of course it works out. <laughs> Box in. Two pie.